Hello and welcome to another short tutorial. Today we'll be looking at uh, how to integrate your PayFast payment system onto your uh, WordPress website. So we've installed, uh, we've previously installed our WordPress, our WordPress, our website is working, but now you just want to take your, web, your website to the next level by accepting payments, particularly if it's an online uh, or e-commerce store, right? So you've got your product set up. Um, you just need to then navigate onto your cPanel. After getting into your cPanel, you need to go into your installations and log into the WordPress dashboard. When you click on login to the dashboard, uh, please navigate to the plugins page because we need to install a plugin. Remember what plugins do? They enhance functionalities of our, of our, of our, of our website. And a PayFast plugin is what you're gonna use in this video. Of course, there's other in payment integrations that you could um, explore, but for the purposes of this video, we're just focusing on PayFast. So under plugins, you wanna click on add new plugin and then go ahead and search pay fast the the plugin will pop up once it pops up so it's woocommerce pay fast gateway you click install this will take a few seconds once it's successfully installed you want to go ahead and activate once activated okay you want to maybe refresh this page quickly once your pay fast plugin has been activated you want to navigate to the plugins page and locate the woocommerce pay fast gateway you want to click on settings and when you click on settings this will launch the setup uh, wizard once this uh, integration wizard launches you want to go go to the general button and there you want to change your country to your 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 country where you're operating from in this instance we'll select south africa and if you know the region or the province you can even go ahead and click on the the province um the currency options under the currency options you can set your currency there or choose a south african rand and then save changes once that is done, you navigate to the Payments tab and here you want to toggle or enable the PayFast option. So go ahead and enable that. And the, and the next page, you'll be asked to install the Merchant ID, the Merchant Key and the Passphrase. You can get all of these details uh, from your PayFast dashboard. Uh, if you log in there, you should be able to get uh, all of those credentials. Once that is populated, <coughs> you want to go ahead and save changes. Before you do that as well, you want to make sure that you've enabled PayFast. There is, a, there is an option to toggle uh, the, 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 the PayFast sandbox option. What that does is it, it puts your your website on test mode. Uh, once that is done, yeah, once you've tested uh, your, your payment gateway and you see that uh, payments are going through, you can just uh, disable that option. And then you click save. Your settings have been successfully saved. Once that is done, then you're all set and ready to receive payments via your online store using PayFast plugin. What you also want to make sure you add on as part of your payment integration is a description. So in this case, I'll just put in the description of this website. What this does is it, 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 it shows your users um, who or where the money is going to. So you want to make sure that you put the description on there because it's quite important. Once all of those uh, um, inputs have been saved, you just click on save changes and your site will be ready. So once all your PayFast credentials have been successfully inserted and your settings have, uh, have been saved, we just want to test and see if this uh, plugin works and if you can make payment. So you're gonna, we're going to go to a product and add it to cart. After adding our product to the cart, you can view the cart 
there is a product you can add more or less and, 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 and the prices change and then you want to click on proceed to check out and as you can see on the right hand side here the pay fast option is now activated so users or potential clients will then need to populate the first name information and all of those details and they'll be taken or redirected to the pay first, to the secured pay first page in order to complete their payment but we want to make sure that this pay first option shows here which shows that it's active and if you remember on the description this is what uh, is showing um, the name of the, of the of the business you can then go ahead and place order after you've inserted all your personal details but to test that the pay first option works it does work because it's showing i hope this video was helpful if it was share like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you